Here we go. What's up, Homestead homies? It's Off Green with Doug and Stacy, and I'm Doug. <laughs> Today we're taking you guys to the Tiny House Jamboree in Arlington, Texas, 2017. We're gonna take you guys around, show you some of the tiny house structures because I know a lot of you people are out there and you wanna ditch those big carbon footprints and you wanna live a more simpler, uh, you know, uh, intentional life. And uh, one way to do that is to look at the tiny houses. A lot of them are on wheels. Some of them like pan over that way. I'll get my, I got a cameraman today. So that one over there is actually like a TP type of thing. So when you come to these kind of events, you can really soak yourself into all the different ways that you can live tiny. So we're gonna look around, we're gonna maybe meet some uh, other YouTubers that are here because there's a lot of YouTubers on uh, YouTube that do tiny house living. And uh, we're also gonna maybe meet some homestead homies. So let's go. seeing all the tiny homes. We're inside of one right now made by Red Deer Classic. What a piece of craftsmanship this one is. I walked in here and like when I built my tiny house I wanted to build it simple so that I know I could finish it and it would look decent. And I walk in here and I'm like holy moly like the craftsmanship in this house is unbelievable. I'm just totally blown away by it. Like every every detail in this house has been like looked after. Like every detail, every corner, every nook, every floor. It's just amazing the amount of work that goes into oh this. God. You know, you'll find different levels of tiny houses. You'll find them kind of basic and bare, and then you'll find things like this that are just like push the envelope of creativity uh, for people that are living in a smaller space. In case you guys don't know, this is Derek. From DIY. Homestead Projects. Yeah, and you might have known him too from Life Inside a Box, but he's trying to get away from that name. Yeah. But uh, yeah, he does a really good job with his YouTube videos. They live in Arizona. Yeah, so we live in southeastern Arizona, um, just uh, about 45 minutes away from Tucson, just down the interstate, um, just outside of a little town called Benson. So some of you might be familiar with that or you've driven through it. Not a lot of people stay there, but uh, we found a little slice of heaven there. Uh, specifically with the building codes and such, or building inspections, um, we can just kind of do a lot of what we want to do out there without having any of the red tape. Which is one of the things we talk to you guys about all the time, so if you're even getting a tiny house or you're just building your homestead up, always make sure you check your regulations in your county and in your state, and make sure that you find a place that has land that they're not always busybody in you and telling you what you can and cannot do. One of the things I like about Derek too is they're like totally self-sufficient. They put in solar systems, rainwater catchment systems, all that kind of a stuff. I'm gonna leave a link to their video um, right there. <laughs> yeah. Always over your left shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> and then you guys can go check out his channel. Uh, they do a really good job showcasing and walking you guys through um, a lot of their projects. Also, you have a Facebook group too, right? Yeah, so I've just started this Facebook group because the YouTube comment section can get, it can be uh, a little bit messy. And I'd rather respond to Facebook um, posts and such to answer questions, because then it's, it's probably gonna benefit a lot more people. And then you can have like a really nice discussion, you can share photos, and I think it's just a better kind of community feel. Um, because the idea here is to help people. So I wanna help people. Um, if I have a question, I want people to be able to help me. Um, I'm kind of, uh, I would say, spoiled on YouTube because I get so many suggestions and comments in the, in the comment section, but it's hard for me to help other people, so that's why I like the Facebook group. So you've been in your tiny house now for a little over a year, about just, a year? Just under a year. December yeah. 1st will be um, our first full year in it. Right. 
All right, so how have you liked it since you've been, they were living in a house, right? You guys yeah, we were living. Or renting or, or? Yeah, we were renting a condo or just like a small apartment in Tucson. It was about 420 square feet, so it's just like a simple one-bedroom place. And we actually find that our tiny house, which is it's eight feet wide by 24 feet long, so if you include the loft space, it's probably about 260 square feet. We find that it's better designed, and the flow of it is much better mm -hmm. than our little 420 square foot apartment. So I think it's really important that. Um, if you're looking to you know build your own house is like the design is certainly important so coming to events like this so that you can start to get ideas and start looking at other homes like checking out Doug and Stacy's home and really kind of getting a feel and an idea of what you want your space to look like and then you can start to integrate different design elements that you're like ooh, like that's really nice I really like that or I really want to do that like I come into this house I'm just like oh, <laughs> this is like sensory yeah. overload yeah like looking at the countertop it's right. like and the floor, it's just like, it's mind blowing. Right. So you can look at all these different elements and then create something unique on your own. Right, that's a good thing about it because when you guys are doing these DIY projects, which by the way, I think Derek will be out uh, to our place later on at our homestead. Yeah. And he has a neat thing that he's doing, creating a DIY series. Uh, and it's just to help people that are new to this kind of stuff, kind of get it grounded, uh, a way of uh, doing a build or a way of doing fencing, uh, just so they can get a little more experience and see visually how to do it. And then he presents that uh, to people that like follow his Facebook or join his uh, like system, right? Yeah, so I want to like connect with a lot of, you know, specialists. So like uh, my buddy in Wisconsin, he worked in the fencing industry for over six years and he builds like like incredible fences and I learned so much even just from recording the video course right just watching him and seeing how he works so we want to like pass along that knowledge so that when you're take when you want to build your own fence or you want to build your own solar system or you want to build really like I really want to make it as complete as possible so that you just have like a really good source of information so you don't have to try to you know piece together information from here and you can um, get the information from people that are really experienced and really know what they're doing. Right. He hasn't seen old Doug's fences yet, but we'll get him out there and show him. Yeah, what's going absolutely. On. <laughs> For sure. All right, so we're going to keep uh, continue walking around the place. I'm going to show you guys some other uh, tiny houses, and um, hopefully, you guys are enjoying this video. Make sure you go check out his channel. Um, they do, like I said, they do a good job of living their lifestyle and showing you guys how you can live a more sustainable life. Thanks a lot, uh, awesome. Derek, for checking Cheers. us out. Hanging out with the Homestead homies. He's actually a Homestead homie. I'm not I, Homestead homie. I gave him a, a sticker. He didn't even bring me a sticker from his thing. He's always giving out stickers too. Uh, so you guys go watch one of his videos and say, give Doug a sticker. I'll, I'll mail it to him. I know his address, so. <laughs> All right, let's go check out some more of the tiny houses. Peace.
Welcome, my name is Adonata Piaga. I'm the inventor of this beautiful canvas castle that I've had the privilege of living in for eight years. And um, part of the inspiration has been to create an environment that allows me to be in close contact with nature while being able to do all my modern work activities, anything from seeing clients for my career as well as cooking. And it's been an enormous joy. Every day I'm grateful to being here. Now, uh, what makes this a functional home for four seasons in all climates, whether you're in Alaska or in the tropics is a double layer technology which is now a patented technology that has two identical layers of the finest canvas it is breathable but there's a four inch pocket in between that retains the heat in the winter you could have radiant floor heating um, or you could have you know from the side any kind of ventless portable or permanent gas heater and you can also set this structure up directly on the ground you can set it up on a wooden deck on a tree on a boat whatever you'd like so if you would like to learn more about setup and any questions you may have give me a call uh, you can also find me at my website and that's plenisphere.com so p-l-e-n-i dash s-p-h-e-r-e dot com thank you Tiny Homes Expo, doing some Dutch oven cast iron cooking and showing you our tool line. Our tool here stores inside a 12 inch Dutch oven or larger, folds up and folds down to store inside the oven. This is your lid holder. Normally you're uh, taking the lid off with pliers and sticking it in the dirt, so you can actually clamp your lid here on the top, take your lid off and it keeps it off the ground out of the dirt. Put your pot on the top now for stirring and serving. It's also multi-use, so you can flip this upside down. Now you've got your heat source here. This is the charcoal holder that stores inside the Dutch oven. Load it up with charcoal. Put this under here. Move it up and down to control the temperature. So now you're gonna fry your bacon, eggs, and pancakes, or build your pizza. Put this over the top. Now you got a pizza oven. This is the same idea here. This is your lid holder upside down, except we snapped a grill on the top. Same charcoal holder here. It goes up and down. You can actually throw some wood chips on top of your coals. Put this over the top. Now you got a portable smoker to smoke your meats and fish. This is the charcoal chimney. Any old chimney will uh, hit your coals quickly. This folds down to actually store inside your 12 inch Dutch oven. Store it all. Dutch oven bag here. This whole kit, all the tools you see, will fold up and actually store inside the Dutch oven bag. Lid goes in here, ready to roll. Last item here, coconut charcoal. Burns twice as hot and twice as long as regular generic brands or king shirt. It uh, is recyclable as a natural fertilizer and it's good for the environment so you can hash it out and it's uh, good to go. Holy cow, all kinds of things. You guys have seen the super extravagant uh, wood, intricate inside of one tiny home. Um, then we just went on a, like a double decker, which was pretty cool. I had a big patio on the upstairs. Behind me here, you can see like other models and people waiting in line to get in. And uh, some of the vendors here, uh, just so much information if you guys are thinking about living in a tiny house and reducing your carbon footprint and getting rid of those bills and mortgages to make your life a little more intentional, a little more sustainable. 
So hopefully you guys enjoy this uh, episode. Uh, we're gonna have one more probably video coming from here. I think we're gonna meet up and talk to a few people who are living in tiny houses and what they think of the experience so far. So don't forget to check us out on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Hit that thumbs up, guys. Tell me that you like this video of me showing you guys all these tiny houses. And like I said, we're gonna do a lot more in-depth tiny house videos on the next one. I was just kind of uh, looking around, trying to see what was going on while we were here. The first day is kind of a half day, so the second day will be a little more in depth. Uh, until then, we'll see you on the next video. And that's it. <laughs> hey guys, thanks for watching our video. You might want to check out these videos. And if you want to become a Homestead homie, click the picture of us below. We, we will, will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow.